Hey, what's up? This is Joshua. Welcome to the daily video blog. I feel like this is kind of a scenic spot. I'm digging it. Uh, it's super windy out because it is mildly warm. It is 30 degrees. So therefore to offset the pleasantness of the air temperature, uh, it needs to be windy and terrible out. So uh, it, this one might sound really bad, but I'm going to try to make it really quick because there is a lull in the wind. So what I want to talk about today is um, the idea of what a, a creative advantage you have and it and advantage in this instance not necessarily meaning over other people but maybe over other people in terms of being able to use your creativity for good or whatever that means uh, stay focused so what I mean to say is understanding how and when and in what circumstances you work best uh, so that you can make better work. So I would argue that if when you're working, you routinely feel frustrated and stumped and it is this giant challenge to get to an end result, I would argue that that is a symptom of a larger problem. I gotta move. And that problem is that, um, that you don't understand how you best work so that you're constantly fighting against yourself to, to, to get a project moving and to wrap it up or to finish it. Um, I can say that for me personally, um, starting to recognize what conditions lead to the best work and, and also lead to the work that felt effortless. I, I think I talked about this in a video before that if, if my work doesn't feel effortless, I'm pretty sure it's not good work. Um, the, the best quote I ever heard in terms of understanding if something is good or not was from the skateboarder Ethan Fowler. And he basically said that if a trick doesn't feel good from start to finish, if like rolling into it, the actual trick itself and rolling away, if none of that feels effortless, hold on, loud truck. If it doesn't feel effortless, it's not gonna look good. And if I look back on my own body of work, the more I struggled with things and suffered from the notion that work is a struggle, the less inclined I am to think that work was any good. Um, I never really kind of felt like in those instances, like I felt relieved to be done, but those were also the instances where I was most likely to feel like this project turned out like shit, I wish I could redo it. Um, the instances where the entire project just flowed, they turn out the best. And maybe that's a, um, a delusion. It's a result of feeling sort of positive emotions attached to the creation of the project. So therefore, I'm assuming the project was good. But I don't know. I think I have enough experience to know when I made something good and when I made something shitty. Um, so what I would say to you, creative person, is notice what's happening when work feels like it's going really smoothly. Um, notice how you feel, notice your conditions, notice your process, and start to figure out which things, if set up properly, are conduits for you for good, effortless creativity. Um, and which things get in the way and make it a challenge and make it a drag. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good one.